Hey, I'm Barry, I played inside linebacker at LSU in the mid to late 80s, part of two SEC championship teams, four bowl teams, supervises just about everything, football operations, scheduling, management, track and field, equipment, strength, conditioning, video department, assistant president and chancellor, LSU, of course, hosting Louisiana Monroe Saturday at Tiger Stadium in the evening, and they don't lose at Tiger Stadium. Please give a warm welcome to Bert Josbury of LSU.
push up whoever is in the half of all the talent state championships. So it comes from a good uh, his IQ of football, his intelligence of football in the field is very, very good. Uh, Malachi McCree, this is the first week he came out played, had a good game. Uh, so not only have a lot of young players. Uh, big question marks on the defense side of the ball is defensive line. They were strong in secondary, but defensive line played a lot of young guys. Uh, they lost Ferguson and Anthony Johnson last year, two guys that's currently on the NFL rosters. And uh, that's what we're trying to see whether those young guys are playing where they're performing. When we talk about football in Louisiana, we talk about some good football players. Uh, LSU has 40 players active in the NFL right now. We get the list of Louisiana players per capita, we're number one in the nation per capita NFL players. Every school state of Louisiana have an NFL player uh, in the league on the roster right now. You have about another 40 guys who do other schools outside of the state that's on rosters. So we're talking about recruiting base, talking about the coaches here. Uh, we have a good recruiting base in Louisiana. A lot of good football players come out of the state. But uh, we have a lot of games have to play at LSU. And, Fortunately, a lot of these good players, Tyson Jackson, those guys you talked about, uh, that's made LSU. One thing about LSU that we're very happy about, you know, it's very hard to shoot in the middle. And I know some people say we want to win a national championship every year and compete for one. That's what we want to do. But to have 15 years of winning football is very difficult to do. Uh, we started this in 2000, and it's continuing now. We've been ranked in the top 10, high rankings, playing well. That's very difficult to do. So we're very, very fortunate LSU that we've been able to maintain a high level of competition to what we want to be. Uh, thank you, and I'll go up to questions. Any questions for everybody? One here. Yes, sir. We have a high school program in that room. Could y'all take a picture of that and show you the kids with a proper clothes? I'm actually asking you, both feet are on the ground. I make sure I bring that back to Coach Miles. Make sure, <laughs> I make sure they practice that. Uh, you know, and I'm like, you know, the pose is okay, but uh, make the pose when you play Alabama arm. I'm not saying I'm just okay. <laughs> okay, uh, a lot of people say that they the colleges don't have a preseason schedule. But if you watch football across the Tell you what you do when you schedule games. People don't understand this, but that's a good question. Though. Uh, you schedule, we all follow the same parameters in the country. You're right. And uh, if everybody else just changes parameters and the mission of scheduling, then we'll change that too. Uh, we're not the NFL. I can't, if I lose a defensive line or offensive line, I can't go to an Alabama or Georgia and give me another free agent. Somebody got cut at least from that team to bring me Give you a good example. Last year, we played the University of Georgia at Georgia. They were number four in the country, we were number six in the country. Uh, they had a great running back, Gurley, got hurt against us. The next week, uh, they lost their next running back, they lost four receivers. Now, Georgia went from being a national champion contender. It wasn't the same team that we played early in the year. They, last, they lost a quarterback the last game of the season. They went from a team that's supposed to win the national championship game to a team that went 75. So until we change that, everybody changed that. We to play Wisconsin, and then play the University of Texas, and then play the University of Michigan, uh, part of my schedule, I can do that. If I need Alabama to do it, I need Florida to do it, I need uh, Georgia to do it, I need USC and all the rest of the schools to do it. So we're preparing a schedule, preparing for one goal is to play the national championship game of LSU. Nobody look at the schedule last year, who they play. Nobody look at wins and losses, how you win, how you lose. A win is a win. Bill Osborne taught me to win every game 2 0, guess what? You win the game. You win the win. I'd rather win ugly than lose pretty. So, our mission, we schedule doing everything, is how we're going to get to the championship game. It's not a playoff system that you have. It's going to be said, it's not a championship game. So, that's how we all schedule it. Until the whole parameters change and the whole makeup change of college football, the scheduling change, then we'll do that. You have 85 guys on scholarship, that's all you have. NFL has 47, it's a longer season, a harder season. But right now, there's no chance to get other players in recommend. So that's why we schedule to protect players. Consider them what they are, student athletes, and not professional football players. And that's why the schedule takes place the way it does. Now, until that changes, the commissioners, the NCAA, the football guys, the football get together and just make a change, we'll make those changes. 
questions. Yes, sir. Just a comment on his comment. It was refreshing seeing the head coach kind of chew on that out with doing that pose. He's not a big man in locally. He's one of the freshmen and, a, and he's a young player. It was nice to talk, see him talk him down and make him a team player instead of being a big Thank you. Thank, thank you. We have in his position coaches, Frank Wilson, who also we had a conversation with him. And all y'all know Frank Wilson's from here. We'll pair Walker, the most man, uh, very good coach. And we tell our players, act like you've been there. Uh, act like you've been in the big time. Act like you've been there. He got excited. Uh, it was a rough week the first weekend. And uh, let me tell you about Leonard Fournette. He's a great kid. He's a great person. Uh, we have no problems with him. He's always the first one at the academic center, first one to study hall, tutoring, doing those type of things. He's been a leader for us in the freshman class. And a lot of our freshmen have been. Very, very good leaders, including Trey Quinn and guys like that. So that's a that's a little thing we work on. But uh, overall, one for that's a great kid. Yes, sir. Coach, I just one other thing on the Fournette thing. I just express to the young man how difficult it is to win a high school. I spent six years at LSU, and of course, going on the football team, but I never even finished in the Heiser Valley. So uh, it's very difficult. To <laughs> I think you understand that. Yes, sir.